Hi, I'm Mary Ellen Firestone, director of the East Brunswick Library, and I'm very pleased to be with Lisa Panarello today, the founder and president of Korea's Advance. Welcome, Lisa. Thank you very much for having me, Mary Ellen. Uh, Lisa, you're going to do a series here at the library beginning in July. Why don't you tell us uh, what is the workshop about and what topics you'll be covering? Sure. Well, this actually is stemming from the workshop series we just had a few months ago that went really well, and that was really a college prep slash career brainstorming to get students really to understand what kind of careers would really fit them, which would help them pick a major, and then we started talking about the whole college selection process. Afterwards, we had a feedback form, and we wanted to see what students wanted to know more about. So the most popular topics that they checked off were college survival. That's what we really came, that's how we came up with the title. So the three topics that we're going to be covering in this upcoming series, the first is managing college life, then it's building resumes to break the ice, and last but not least, speak like a pro. So those are the title for the three. Okay, it was interesting to me, and I'm going to ask you to give us a little more definition as what students can expect at each of those mm -hmm. uh, workshops. But uh, when I saw the resume one, I was like, okay, wait a minute, they're just going into college. <laughs> so, right. so maybe you can talk a little bit about what they can expect at each of the workshops. Sure. Well, the first one is, you're right, they are about to heading off to college, and the, that's why the first one is about managing college life. I've heard for several years now a statistic that more than 50% of students that start college, four-year colleges, don't come back for year two. Wow. And that number is higher and rising for students that go to community college. And that number does not have to be. Students do not have to become part of this statistic. So that's why the first workshop, Managing College Life, is geared to help students prepare for what they're going to be expected to do. So we're going to go over the syllabus, understanding what the first day of class is all about, and really how to develop good study habits so they can maintain a strong GPA. We're going to talk about how they can develop relationships with their professors and their college advisors. They're often very fearful people. You think, oh my gosh, they have a PhD, I can't talk to them. And that's not what they're all about. So if they really develop a relationship with those professors, they can get the most out of that class. And then we're going to move on to what I think is most critical is time management. You know, college is a whole new world. They're coming from high school and everything's sort of set for them. We're here in college, they're on their own. And students are, and I was there, you were there. It's, it's just a whole new world. And how do we go from a very set structure to a sporadic structure and still succeed? So we're going to go over some strategic time management tips to balance the workload that they're going to be expected to complete and life outside of college, because it's not just about the class itself. And lastly, speaking of which, we're going to talk about clubs and activities and sports and what they can do, really how they can join clubs that fit them, and how they can maximize their time, because it's not just about just joining a club, but what you're going to do to get out of that club, and it's going to lead you to that career. So really managing the success of their college life. We want to help them, I want to help them, really, to jumpstart momentum from day one and do what they can over the time so that when they leave college, they have that degree that's going to get them where they want to go. Okay. And that, to your point, yeah. with the whole resume piece, you're right, they are just starting college. Yet, many students are either paying for their own college or at least subsidizing their own college that's and true. want to have a few dollars for a little Domino's pizza, right? So where are they going to get this money? They need a job. So even if they're looking for part-time jobs, internships, which are key before they're really ground stepping stones before they leave college, and even volunteer work is competitive today. There are hundreds of students that are looking for that same job. It could be working at McDonald's or Taco Bell. Just getting a babysitting job is competitive. So with that resume, which you and I did not need 20 years ago, right. it's a critical tool today. So we're going to cover really basic tips on how to create a resume, the foundation of it, mm -hmm. and progressive tips that go beyond the traditional. We want to replace the age-old objective with a strong positioning statement. And I want to help students really understand that what they do in the classroom and outside of the classroom can count as experience. And Mary Lynn, I talk to students all the time, they say, oh, I'm in college, well, I don't have any experience. Well, you do. Yeah. And I want to help them pull that out, understand where their experience lies, so they can assess who they are and be able to use it on a self-marketing tool, which today is often that first impression before they even meet someone. That's a good point. And last but not least, the maximizing the resume through keyword optimization. That fancy word today is how we get this resume to work online. Right. So we'll go over those strategies. Oh, that's great. Yeah. Well, now, as you know, high school just got out, and a lot of students are like, oh, thank heavens, no more school. Mm -hmm. So what is going to motivate them to come to your workshops during the summer? Yes, they do have to get self-motivated. I want to first say to the students that I love the summer. 
we just got our pool set up, I'm ready to use it, I wanna have the barbecues, I wanna have my nieces and nephews over, and I wanna have fun too. And I'm not looking to spend their entire summer in class. This is not about being in summer school. What I feel is that the three, one and a half hours out of their life, and it's at the evening, it's gonna be in the crux during the day when they wanna be partying and hanging out, but just an hour and a half, three times within three weeks, what they're going to be leaving with is tips and tools that they can help them relieve some stress so when they get to that first day of college, they really understand how they can manage that life. They will leave with a groundbreaking resume and understanding of how they can use it over the next few years. And the third workshop, which is the Speak Like a Pro, even if students are not looking to become a public speaker, which most of us aren't, there are always speaking opportunities in the classroom. I'm sure they're doing it right now in high school. In college classroom, interviews or speaking engagements, just out there networking. You may have to, when you get a job, sit there with a client and pitch an idea or pitch your boss an idea when you want to get a performance review. So that third workshop on Speak Like a Pro, we're really going to cover just basic tips on how you can manage yourself in giving a presentation, get some of that fear out of the way. So I think if, they, if any student wants to invest in themselves to get a head start on the next phase of their life, that is definitely worth their time. Well, Lisa, you've given us a great overview, and I, I want to ask you just one more, like, sentence on, on what students should be coming to this. What, what you know, what, which are the ones that should really pay attention and, and show up? You know, you can, anyone can come to these workshops and get a lot out of it. It really does matter on where their head is and what they want to gain from it. I would say who would benefit most would be freshmen and sophomore who are already on a strong academic record that they can pull away for a few minutes and focus on other things to get them in the success track and even more so for juniors and seniors in high school who are ready to get into that they're college bound they're thinking about where they're headed and what they want to do with their life in addition students that are already in college Maybe they were freshmen and they're not quite sure that they really have a full handle on it. Or maybe they do have a full handle, it, but they want to get another edge. They want to really get that competitive edge. So high school juniors and seniors and then college freshmen and sophomores, okay. as well as those that want to know the resume, can really benefit from this. Great. Well, thanks so much, Lisa. You've given us a lot of great information about the workshops. The first workshop on July 16th is the information workshop, and, that, and that's when people can come for free and, and find out about the other three workshops, which do have a $25 fee. However, if they register for all of them at once, they get a 20% discount. So tell us, uh, if they're looking for more information, where can they look? Sure. If they want more information about myself and what Careers Advance does and and all that, they can check out www.careersadvance.org. And then for more information on the program, I do encourage them to come to the info session on July 16th and look out for the marketing brochures that we're going to have in the library that's promoting it. Thanks very much. Thank you so much, Mary Ellen. Look forward to it.